Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. We are up here in Manchester, Tennessee. We are all on a date night. No kids for like a couple hours. So we're swinging through at my favorite pawn shop. It's in Manchester, Tennessee. It's called Tolliver's. If you ever been there, let me know in the comments down below. But we're fixing to run in there. See if they got some bing bangs or some boolots that we need. Or anything else. Lawnmowers, weed eaters. <laughs> Typical pawn shop. They got a little bit of everything. Uh, you never know what you're going to find in there. But specifically, I've seen in here a 257 Weatherby and a 300 Weatherby. So maybe they have one of those. But let's run us there and see what they got. Should be interesting. And they have a really big deer in there on the wall. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll ask them if they want to sell that deer. They probably won't. There she goes. Tolliver's Pawn. Bunch of stuff in here. Here's an interesting find. A Weatherby Mark V 338 mag. It's a pretty old one though. Three thirty eight Meg. Here's a pretty cool find, a Hawa fifteen hundred and twenty two two fifty. And it's got a threaded barrel. That's a neat one. Here's one of the ones I was looking for. I said a 300 Weatherby mag, but it's not a Weatherby, it's a Winchester. I don't think I want to be putting down that much for this pretty old, old one. There's a neat one right here, a Remington 7400, semi-auto 30-06. Pretty cool, semi-auto. And that semi-auto 30-06, it's even got the iron sights on it. That's pretty cool. There's a pretty cool find, a Ruger American 243 camo. It's a barrel. Yeah, they got the Ruger Americans in just about every caliber. Even the 300 blackout and the uh, 762 by 39. Pretty hard to find those. There's a couple cool levers. There's this Chiapa in 44 with a threaded barrel. And then this Henry in 45 coat. All the pizzazz on it. Bunch of shotguns. Look at this array of camouflage guns. <laughs> oh yeah. Lots of camo shotguns. Get you some ducks. That's that deer I was talking about. All right, so I didn't pick anything up. They actually had a bunch of boo lots in there that are kind of hard to find. 68 Western in there, 22 250, 25 out 6, 35 Whalen. My car is dinging because of seat belts. Uh, what else? They had 338 Lapua in there. Uh, they had the one thing I said I wanted, the 300 Weatherby mag, but it was in a Winchester Model 70, and they wanted like. 13 1400 bucks for an old piece of junk one so i didn't get anything but definitely an interesting place mm. huh yes <laughs> there were people in there even more country than me <laughs> probably not more country than her but more country than me y'all probably heard them talking in the Wait, background what? no <laughs> yeah and uh there were several of those characters in there that uh they smelled like they were uh puffing the magic dragon out in the parking lot if you know what i'm saying um but yeah a lot of people going in there are just trying to get $20 for the grandma's ring and stuff in there. But, uh, appreciate y'all watching. They even had the Ruger Americans in there. in 300 Blackout, which I've been trying to find for a long time, but I just got the Savage two weeks ago. So, I don't need that Bolt Action 300 Blackout anymore. And they had the very extremely hard to find Ruger American in 762 by 39 in there. 
pretty cool brand spanking new. They had Ruger Americans in just about everything. Even a threaded barrel 243 Ruger American in there. That was like the one thing that hmm, I thought about for half a second picking up because now we got the suppressors. We pretty much need everything with the threaded barrel. We don't have a threaded barrel 243. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think about that place. I'll probably run up here and again in a couple weeks to see what they got. You never know what turns up at those type places especially around christmas people need some money they'll come sell their junk to the pawn shop real cheap and you can get really good deals but hey appreciate y'all watching we're gonna go do some shopping or something probably um thanks for joining us on our day night yeah exactly <laughs> appreciate y'all watching stay tuned we got tons of videos coming that you don't want to miss appreciate y'all watching we'll see you on the next one Hoo -doo -hoo.